Now, if you've been watching my channel since the beginning, which you probably have, <laughs> um, um, you know, you would know that I played Skyrim for about what was it? Uh, let me think. It was probably about I'd say eight episodes um, of Skyrim. So yeah. So I mean. It's a really fun game. I really like it. It's, um, I don't know, I can't say if it's my favorite in the Elder Scrolls, because Oblivion's up there. It's definitely, they're definitely both on par with each other. Um, but I really do like Skyrim. Oblivion's really good also, though. Um, and so is Morrowind. I would do one on Morrowind, but it's just so old. I don't even think it's worth it. Um, yeah. So, uh... Before we start, I must say, I have three mods installed. Um, I know people don't normally like mods, but, you know, the mods I have are for benefit. Um, I have the better, uh, what's it called, the better menus mod. Um, I also have a playable Time Lord race mod, if anybody knows Doctor Who. Um, and yes, it is because I'm a Doctor Who fan, but I'm going to be playing as it simply because for the ability which is basically just like using a grand healing spell on yourself that has lin lingering after effects. Um, because the actual... It's, it's the, lead, the Time Lord race has two abilities, one of them being regeneration, the other being what's known as Gallifrey and Last Resort. Um, the regeneration actually doesn't work. So once I'm dead, I don't regenerate, I'm dead. Um, and I also installed a TARDIS mod, which is basically like that. That's all it is, because um, the way the mods made, some things are glitched out, so I can't target specific small places like Riverwood, but I can save up to eight custom locations. Um, and plus, it's a really fun side mission. It's short. It takes like, I don't know, ten minutes out of the whole thing, and I, I find it to be really fun. Um, also, if you'll notice, I didn't include my intro. That's because my computer messed up, and now my intro, it only has the first two seconds. Um, which really pissed me off, but, you know, what are you going to do? My computer sucks. <laughs> Can't wait till I get a new one. When I get a new one, I will be able to do this stuff flawlessly. <gasps> oh, here we are. Let's get into it. See, that was the mission for the blue box starting right now. It starts as soon as you start up a game. Sorry, that's my gamepad. Yes, I'm playing this with the gamepad simply because um, when I played with the mouse before, my keys didn't respond. Um, so I have to play with the gamepad. Because my keys won't respond um, to any of the controls that I set. Jesus Christ, can I set up my look sensitivity or is this just because it's the beginning of the game? Oh, 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 hi. Finally awake. Yeah, yeah, I was sleeping for you a little bit. Trying to cross the border, right? Yeah, I was. Walked right into that imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Oh, is it a thief? You're a thief. That's yeah, not good. Skyrim was not good at all. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. Yeah, well, I, I should. You're, um, you, I can't say much. I, I, I don't know about all that. I still think your cause is wrong. I still, you shut up. I'm talking to my friend. Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. You're going, dad. Ulfric, the Jarl Windhelm? 
You're the leader of the rebellion. Oh, damn. They captured you. Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? Where do you think, dumbass, to die? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. I, I just said something along those lines. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. This is happening, so shut up. God. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? Answer the damn question. A Nord's last thoughts should be home. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get angry with you. Rorikstead, I'm... Uh, I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Well, he can wait. Good. Damn. Let's get this over with. Sure. Marm, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. They don't give a damn about you. They give a damn about me, but not about you. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. What about him? He looks and pretty looks snazzy like in that golden armor. With him. Damn elves. Oh yeah, damn those elves. They had something to do with us. Yeah, probably. Probably right. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Ooh. Wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Probably not. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Wow, how ironic. Now you're gonna get murdered. To go inside. Why? I wanna watch the soldiers. Let him watch. Inside the house. Whoa. Let him watch. It'll put some hair on his nuts. I mean just. Why are we stopping? I said Jeff. Why do you think? Yeah. Totally what I said. I said Jeff. No one does that other part. That was nothing. There's nothing at all. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Why? They don't care. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! But you don't know my name. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. I don't think it has. Think a lion. So you can see, um, if you want to play this game, you can get it on Steam for, I believe it's $20. I also have the Dragonborn DLC in this, which is an additional $20. But all the mods um, are free on the Steam Workshop. Um, if you do, when you when I introduce the TARDIS mod, see that you like it, um, I will say that it says on the website that it is incompatible, but that is a lie. You need Skyrim, Script Extender, and um, one other thing. I, I don't know. It'll tell you in the description of it um, on the ste in the Steam Workshop. So, yeah. The Dragonborn DLC is, is an additional $20, and I believe the Dawnguard DLC, which I currently don't have, is also. And I don't know how much Hardfire is. I don't have that either, but, you know. Okay, uh, let's start. Argonians. This reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their Black Marsh homeland, have developed an, oh, has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the his skin to regenerate health very quickly. <coughs> okay, come on, change the picture. In addition, Bretons, in addition to their quick and perceptive grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of high rocked Bretons can boast a resistance to magic. Bretons can can call upon the dragon skin power to absorb spells. <coughs> dark elves, also known as Dunmer, in their homeland of Morrowind, dark elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills. They are naturally resistant to fire and can call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround them 
themselves in fire. Funny thing about the Dark Elves, a little bit of Skyrim lore here, um, they once were a mighty race with, like, glowing, not red eyes, like, glowing beautiful eyes and, like, beautiful light skin, not dark skin, known as the Shimmer. But when they went to go attack the dwarves to, like, try and kill them all off, uh, Azura cursed them, um, with eyes of fire and skin of ash. Uh, that's what she said. I believe that's what she said, something along those words. And they became known as the Dunmer. There you go, just a little lore for you. Also, high Elves, also known as Altmer in their homeland of Somerset Isle, the High Elves are mostly, um, the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon their highborn power to regenerate magicka quickly. And, okay. Imperials, natives of Cyrodiil, have proved to be shrewd diplomats and traitors. They are skilled with combat and magic. Anywhere gold coins might be found, Imperials always seem to find a few more. They can call upon the voice of the Emperor to calm an enemy. <coughs> Sheep. Hailing from the province of Elsewhere, they are intelligent, quick, and agile. They make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. All Khajiit can see in the dark at will and have unarmed claw attacks. They're very good if you want to be an unarmed character. Nords, citizens of Skyrim. Come on. They are tall and fair-haired people, strong and hardy. Nords are famous for their resistance to cold and their talent as warriors. They can use a battle cry to make opponents flee. Orcs. The people of Roth, Garion, and Dragontail Mountains. Orcish smiths are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire, and are fearsome when using their berserker rage. <coughs> Redguards. The most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel. The Redguards of Hammerfell have a hardy constitution and a natural resistance to poison. They can call upon ad an adrenaline rush in combat. They're not really interesting. <coughs> Time Lords. Natives of the planet Gallifrey. Time Lords possess a strong resistance to both poison and disease. Naturally skilled in speech and restoration. Among others, they can use Gallifrey and Last Resort to recover health quickly for short periods of time. What else? The clan folk of the western Valenwood Forest, also known as Bosmer, would also make good scouts and thieves, and there are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. They have natural resistance to both poison and disease. They can command animals to fight for them. Okay, so we're we'll choosing Time Lord. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. I don't like any of the other presets. Okay. Uh. Actually, this looks pretty close to what I look like. Well, sort of. Well, now that I've just cut my disgusting mop, this is actually really close. By that, I mean my hair. My, my hair is not long anymore. Let's see. Oh, well, let's see. Dark brown eyes is what we need. There we go. That's good enough. That's close enough. I really don't care right now. And brow height. I want my character to be happy. And I guess my hair looks fine. What kind of hair do they give? Oh, they give Nord hair. Ah, that makes sense. Or is that Imperial hair? I think Nord's and Imperial have the same hairstyles to choose from, so. Elves, however, have a few different variations, but I think relatively they're all, like, sort of the same. That's actually closer to my hair color. Well. I mean, I guess I'll go with that. Finish the name of my character, absolutely. Let's go with Johnny Boy. There we go. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. Follow the captain, prisoner. If only you guys had space travel, you could tell me that my remains would be returned to Gallifrey. But you can't, since you don't have any space travel. Though you have both a time rift and a space rift. All freak Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. 
But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down. Yeah. You think? You fool. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, Blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. Our beloved... As you wish. Ooh. Come on, buddy. You just waited a couple Come on. seconds. I haven't got all morning. You just waited for her to finish. We both could have made it out, man. No, you're gonna rush into these things. This is why we My can't have nice things. Smiling at me, Can you say the same? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna have to put like, I don't know, stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. Okay. Yeah, death to the Stormcloaks. Yeah, you terrible people. If you guys didn't start this rebellion, this never would have happened. That's why I'm not angry at the Empire. I mean, I guess I am for surrendering to the old Mary Dominion. Did you hear that? I said. Next prisoner. No, you didn't. To the block prisoner. You just said it I now. Said you didn't say the time, Lord. Which you should have. I'm a person. Not an object. <laughs> no respect. Alright. Hey, buddy. I like your beard. Buddy, buddy, watch out. Look behind you. I'm not, I'm not joking, buddy. Look behind you right now. Just look. Just look. Oh, well, you didn't look. Now you're gonna die. Boom! The badoosh! <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that cough, but if you, if you did, I'm sorry. That's very rude. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, I already know where to go. You don't need to tell me. Oh no, oh no. Let me into the thing. There we go. So I'm looking for the starts out a little low. It'll it'll get it'll get there um, eventually. Hey, hey, I dare you breathe fire, I'll do it. Come on, do it. Oh yeah. We ah oh, damn it, he hit me on the roof. I'm gonna sit there on the roof without a I'm oh, sorry, that joke was bad. Alright, know where to go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. I just, I just hate the intro so much. I mean, I like the intro, I love it, don't get me wrong, it's like, amazing. But I hate that it's just so long, like, it doesn't need to be that long, you know? Like, uh, Morrowind wasn't even close to that long. You leave the ship, you sign some papers, you leave. Oblivion's was pretty long, though. Like, I think Oblivion's was even longer than this. Which is saying something, since this usually takes up an episode on its own. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? To bring us to the end times? Yeah, it was. You saw it with your own eyes. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah, take them off now. I need them off. What are you doing? There you go. Take a look around. You better get some gear. I'm a Lord, bruh. 
and see this here. Come on, let's go see. This is the whole better menu thing. This is the um, it, it, mm, the ability I was talking about. Calipari and Last Resort boosts health recovery rate to 25 times its original value for two minutes. Allows time wars to survive light threatening injuries without needing to regenerate. I get my regeneration a little later, not yet. Ah, oh, damn it, I went to the wrong chest first. And I'm gonna ask you to get the helmet and the goat. Yeah, hold on. Uh, there, there, there. Take out that. And that. Damn, 350 carry weight already? Time wars have an 8. How much do I have for health and stuff when I started the time wars? Wow, 150. That's, that's crazy. I already pulled it. Come on. Oh no, don't tell me this happened. Uh-uh. Okay, good. Sometimes he can get stuck in a loop and just be pulling the chain forever. Hear that? Storm close. Maybe we can raise it with him. No, you can't respond to those trust. I guess it's top guard for you then. Nice. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that, cause those are worth money. I'm very, very good at getting gold in this game. It's one of those things that I'm just really, really good at. <coughs> Excuse me, that was very weird. Normally they have two-handed weapons. I don't know what happened. That's odd. Oh wait, I have a shield now. There we go. You will, because first of all, you don't have a wall anymore. The city was just destroyed. Second of all, you're dead. Do do do. Ugh. I hate starting. Oh wait, I don't have that low of speechcraft because I'm a time lord. They have a little bit higher speechcraft. Huh. That's good. Last time I played this, um, some things had changed. And for some odd reason, instead of being a health potion there, it was a ladle. So, um, yeah, that was disconcerting. Um, or concerning. I don't know the correct wording for that. Because I don't know how to English sometimes. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I know where to go. I've played this a lot. I'll let you guys handle your thing. Yeah, you guys do your thing. I'm gonna be over here doing my thing. These. I'm gonna take this. You fellows happened along just. Oh, you're alive. That's great. Yay! Don't you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking now. Yeah. Oh, what's over here? I never noticed this before. Please. That's new. Brief history of the Empire, why not? Maybe I'll read it later in between recordings. Although come to think of it, I 
did hear some odd noises coming. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. Didn't you oh, hear God. me? The keep is under attack. Hey, Skelly Bond. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, Skelly Bond. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Last key ages ago. Poor fellow screamed for weeks. See if you can get it open with some picks. We'll need everything we can. See, this is another reason I use the gamepad because it's so much easier to walk back with the gamepad than it is with the uh, mouse and keyboard. Fuck you. I mean, fork you. Shh. I didn't say anything. There we go. Sure. Take all my things. Take all my things. Grab what you can and let's go. Um, so everything? Gimme, give gimme give the ropes, they worth a lot. Oh, he never had gold before, that's new. Anyways, that's about enough time a bit that's about as much time as we have for this episode. So, um this is Johnny Boy Gaming saying thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you in the next episode of this wonderful game. You guys have a great night.